One. Okay, for this screencast, I'm going to show you how to recode a nominal variable that is not already dichotomous into a nominal variable that is dichotomous because when you do regression analysis and include any kind of nominal variable, you need to make sure that any nominal variable has just two categories. So if you already have your gender variable into males and females, you're fine. But let's say, for example, you have a variable like this, race, where you have four groups. Okay, well, what I need to do is to compare one of these groups to all the others. Well, how do I do it? Easy way to do it is to run the frequencies of the variable to see how many people were in each group. So analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. Bring the bring the race variable over. Click OK. You want to look in this valid percent column here. I see that just over half of all people I surveyed were white. So to be honest, I wouldn't really care which group this was. I would take this group versus all others. So numerically, if you look in how things are coded, if you remember, Asians 1, Hispanics 2, Blacks 3, Whites 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to create a new variable that is whites, or the fours, versus all others. So it will be whites versus non-whites. How do you do that? Well, we've used this before in the transform command. Same kind of thing we're going to do. Transform, recode into different variables. Find your variable, click on it, bring it over, give it a new name, all the new values. So the old values 1 through 4 will be listed here and the new values here again. The new values for a regression for a dichotomous variable have to be 0 and 1. That's just how regression works. So I want 1 through 3 to be in one group and four to be in another. So I'll use the range option. So what was one through three, I'll code as a zero. And again, it doesn't technically matter who the zeros are, who the ones are, as long as you know who the zeros are and the ones are. I'll click on add. I want just the fours to be in their own group. I'll code those as one, click add. So again, make sure, so fours are now ones, one, two, and three are now zeros. Oh, click OK. Click Continue. Change. Click OK. Now, I like to do is to run the frequencies of this new variable to make sure it matches up with what we have here. I should have 98 people who are white, and then what would that be, about um, 80 or so who are non-white? Let's see. Analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. I don't want the original race variable. I want the new one. Bring it over. And there you go. I have 98 who are white. And if I add all these up together, I get 80. Now I need to go make sure to do my values. Ones were whites, zeros are non-whites. So let's go to the, the variable view tab values column. My zeros are my non-whites, my ones are my whites. There you go. If you have any questions about doing any recoding, let me know.